Welcome design students. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a looping uh, turntable animation using Unreal Engine. And the final product will look something like this. We're going to set up a studio lighting environment in Unreal. We're going to use Unreal Lights. We're going to animate our camera in Unreal. And we're going to render the scene out using Unreal. And aside from using another piece of software and uh, another step in the process, Unreal Engine actually speeds up our workflow quite considerably because it renders so fast and so well. And when we're done, we're going to have a really nice looping turntable video to uh, include in our ArtStation portfolios. So let's get started. The first step in this process is actually the easiest. All you need to do is open up your scene in Maya and then export out the objects you're going to use in the scene in Unreal as an FBX object. Now we've done this before in putting stuff in our Sketchfab portfolios. So for this, I want you to either use the glassware that you made or the lightsaber or your freeform spaceship. Any of those will be acceptable. So after you open the scene in Maya, you need to find all of the objects that constitute what you want to include in Unreal. We don't want to include any of the lights or any of the studio things or any of the cameras. So select all of the objects that make up your, in my case, lightsaber. And I also need the blade cylinder. Sorry. I do not need the mesh light because it won't translate over anyway. So what I have here is everything that constitutes the handle and then the cylinder that create, that is uh, that is part of the blade. And then we're going to go to File, Export Selection. And then that's going to open up the Scenes folder inside your Project folder. And down here at the bottom, under File Type, you need to choose FBX. You need to name it. And then we need to come over here to the uh, Settings and make sure you check Smoothing Groups, Embed Media, and then under Advanced, make sure you open up FBX File Format Oops, and change it to 2016-17. That is for sure compatible with Unreal. I've had problems using newer versions. And then click Export Selection. And it won't take but a second. And then we open up Unreal. And what you want to do in Unreal here is create a new project. And we're going to go, not a game this time, we're going to create a product design and manufacturing project. And notice one of our options here is Photo Studio. So let's open that up. Then you have to name your project. Make sure you know where it's going. Yours should go in your OneDrive and your class folder in your OneDrive. Mine is going on my external drive that I use. And click Create. And when Unreal opens up, you'll see this default scene here. And this has a little concept car in the middle of a studio. Uh, this, is the, this is the turntable and the floor that we're going to use. But we're going to use different other uh, parts of this scene. And what we're going to do is not use this scene. We're going to create an completely new scene. So let's click the content drawer down here in the lower left and then in here we're going to right click anywhere in an empty spot and select level. We're going to create a new level. Name this level 1 or something. Just make sure it has no spaces and then double click it to open it up and, and click save selected. And now let's set up the minimal lighting for our scene. So up here under the place actors window if you don't see it then you can come up here and grab the things we're going to need um, if you want to open this window like I have mine open then you're going to need to go to window place actors and then it will open up so I'm going to open it I'm going to select lights I'm going to get a directional light I'm going to get a skylight and then I'm going to go up here and type in Reflection, and I'm going to get Sphere Reflection Captures, and then I'm going to type in Sky, and I'm going to get Sky Atmosphere, and then I'm going to type in Fog, and drag in Exponential Height Fog. Now we may not use all of this, but this is the basic setup that you need to set up any kind of a scene in Unreal. And notice all of our uh, objects are over here. We have a scene outliner, much like in Maya, and any object we have selected, the details appear over here. And also, just like in Maya, 
to rotate around your scene you need to hold down the alt button and left mouse button rotates your camera right mouse button while you're holding down alt zooms in and out and left and middle mouse button while you're holding down alt pans your scene and F focuses on the selected object and Q W E R switches your tools just like in Maya you can also cycle through the tools by using your spacebar snapping is up here which we'll talk about later and you can also switch tools up here in your viewport and here up on the left hand side of your viewport are your viewport settings the shading and the viewport that you're looking through and all those things that's right here so let's do one last thing before we leave this video let's go ahead and open up our content drawer and this time we're going to click import and we're going to go find our lightsaber that we exported from Maya yours should be in your class folder on your OneDrive mine is on my external drive there's the one I just exported and click open and then you're going to get these settings now under here you're going to want to do one very important thing going to open up this advanced rollout here by clicking this and you want to check combine meshes and then you're going to want to scroll down and find material and you want to tell Unreal to not create new materials do not create materials because you're going to have to recreate them anyway and click import all and you're very likely going to get some messages like this don't worry about that they're perfectly fine open up the content drawer again and you should see your new object that you imported right here so when we come back in the next video we're going to set up the lightsaber and put the materials on it and we're going to set up the scene and then in the final video we're going to set up the cameras and animate and render and i'll see you then